Hi, this is Miles Marie, the Soldier of Mary. This is my first reaction video on the Mary Cruz interview of 2021. Mary Cruz said in this interview, when she was asked about the visions of Garabandal, she explained that the first message, the only message that she had anything to do with, that first message said that if we do not change, a chastisement will come upon us. And then she told the interviewers, that has not happened until now. And then the interviewer asked, are you referring to the coronavirus? And then she, she agreed, yes, the coronavirus. But rather, she kind of said, more than that, more than the virus, the whole thing around the virus of not being able to see people, being cut off from your families, those you love. For Mary Cuth, the chastisement, a chastisement beyond anything she could imagine as a girl, was, she's now saying, the coronavirus, the thing surrounding the coronavirus, the virus itself, sure, but in particular, the personal impact of the virus upon society. The interview itself only has two lines on this subject, but there's a longer video in which the interviewers, the journalists, talk to each other about what was said. And I spent the hour and a half listening to that video in order to try and get to grips with this comment. And yeah, the interviewers say that it's not simply the virus that she sees as the chastisement of Garabandal, but the personal, the personal societal impact, emotional impact of the virus upon our lives, upon our families, which she's found to be so awful, a chastisement like she would have never imagined. So what to make of this? What to make of this revelation that for her, the chastisement has now happened? Well, first of all, the interviewers themselves in this in the, in their discussion video, they they acknowledge that previous statements by Conchita do not concord with this. So statements of Conchita talk about some idea of what the chastisement's going to be, where we would wish that our children were not alive at the moment of the chastisement and how Conchita said that there was going to be this warning before the chastisement, all this stuff. So they, the interviewers acknowledged that what Mary Cruz was saying here about the coronavirus and the, the personal impact of the coronavirus being the chastisement is something that breaks with what Conchita has said over the years. And in fact, the interviewers say that what we really need is an interview with Conchita. And they say that they've tried to reach her and they got close to agreeing to an interview of her, I think they said, but they still haven't managed to do that. And you see, the interview of Conchita would give her a chance to respond to this, uh, this statement that we've had the chastisement. Because again, if the coronavirus and the, the impact of the coronavirus, the serious impact of the coronavirus upon families, upon children, upon mental health, and that's the whole thing that Mary Thuss was referring to, the, the broad impact of the coronavirus on the workplace, on unemployment, on all of that stuff, all of that stuff collectively as the chastisement. That is continuing, even where in, in some countries the cases and the deaths have, have slowed down. Those other things, the impact of those other things is going to be felt you know, for, for, for maybe decades, there are some people, I think, that are, are going to be so caught up with fear because of the virus that maybe they'll never enter back into society. Um, a lot of parish priests are telling me about this, people that used to be key parishioners. And now, even though the lockdowns have ended in England, people are still really frightened uh, and crippled. They're unable to re-enter into the world. OK, so... So like I said, Mary Crith has said something here that, that corresponds to a previous video of mine about the chronology of Garabandal. Because if you remember, I mentioned how in the early, the first message of Garabandal, there was no mention of miracle and there was no mention of warning. The primitive message, as I put it, the primitive message of Garabandal was there's a chastisement coming. If we don't change, 
there's a chastisement coming. And Mary Cruyff's announcement about the uh, pandemic being the chastisement, it supports this idea that the warning is not part of the Garabandal message and neither is the miracle. That the original message of Garabandal was that there's, there's a chastisement coming. And Mary Cruyff is saying that the chastisement was the pandemic. And we're still living that in that we're living the the emotional and societal impact of that pandemic. And perhaps in some of your countries, even the um, the deaths, the illnesses uh, as a result of the, the ongoing pandemic. So another another consequence of Mary Cruz's statement here about the pandemic being the chastisement is it makes me wonder, do we do we get a miracle? Like I said, that miracle wasn't part of the primitive message of Garabandal, uh, neither was warning. So maybe, does that mean the message of Garabandal is now over? If we do not repent, a chastisement will come. And now the chastisement has come. What does that mean happens next? Does that mean that Garabandal prophetically is, is now case closed? Um, another point, that another reflection that, that came to my mind as I was... Uh, thinking about the consequences of the truth of if, if what she's saying is true about the pandemic being the chastisement, does that mean then most definitely we all need to view the pandemic through the lens of chastisement? You know, and maybe some of you have been viewing it that way, whereas others have been viewing it as more as the permissive will of God. God permitting a virus, God permitting the effects of human relations to uh, come to their conclusion, you know. But this this interpretation, what Mary Crith is telling us, is that it is an actual punishment. Chastisement, punishment, it's the same word. A punishment from God. The coronavirus, the pandemic, as and the emotional fallout of that pandemic personal the interpersonal uh, fallout of that seeing that as an actual active deliberate chastisement from God in response to the cup that was filling up of sins you know is is that how we're viewing the pandemic I don't think I don't see Darson uh, Bishop's conferences viewing the pandemic through that lens I correct me if I'm wrong but I, I don't think I've seen anyone um, officially giving that interpretation on the pandemic. So, again, it's really, really significant if Mary Cruyff is, is telling us this. Is it the collective sins of the last, you know, since Garabandau, since the 60s? Is that is that what well, the cup is gradually filled up and has overflowed in this tremendous chastisement that has touched the whole world? Or was it one particular recent sin or things in the church? Who knows? Or things in the world, sin, the sin, the crime of abortion, the evil of, of um, other evils in our societies that have become normalised. Things that the Bible completely condemns. We don't know exactly, but we do know, according to Mary Cruyff, the pandemic is the chastisement of Garabandal, and it was merited by humanity because we did not repent. I don't know how that how that lands with me. I think the chastisement part, I can take that, the idea of, of the pandemic being a chastisement in some form. But the idea of it being the the chastisement of Garabandal, I get a, I guess I've got to reflect on it a bit more. One thing is it's very removed from Garabandal in terms of years. When the children gave that message, they seemed to think the chastisement was imminent and it so the idea of it being now, I don't know. I don't know if, if she can authoritatively tell us that it's a chastisement. And again, that's another problem with her message. On the one hand, she says in this interview that she's kind of not sure if she saw Our Lady. She um, she thinks she imagines, she she remembers herself, and the interviewers tell, say this in the, the longer version. She, she can remember herself telling people that she saw Our Lady. She can remember herself explaining to people what Our Lady said, but the actual incident itself of Our Lady appearing and what she actually said, the moment of her saying it, 
she doesn't remember. So does that mean Mary Criff telling us that the pandemic is the, ch the chastisement? In that case, does it have any authority at all? If she doesn't actually remember the content of the visions and merely remembers her recounting the content of the visions, in which case she would be in exactly the same position as us reading the things that she said in the days of the apparitions and the other children said in the days of the apparitions and comparing that to the pandemic and actually the children didn't actually say too much from my recollection i know there's the night of screams which was apparently seeing the chastisement at least that's the interpretation and that's fire coming from heaven like meteors like a destruction a huge destruction people being covered in fire swimming in fire if that's what we've got to go on, then the pandemic, I don't think it does seem a representation, a fulfillment of that chastisement. So that's an answer. That's one possible response to it. But I wanted to share this video with you to get to your feedback, your comments on how that lands with you, that the pandemic, the ongoing pandemic and the repercussions of the pandemic is the chastisement of Garabandau. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.